I have the constant urge to just make stuff. I feel good when I can create, when I can translate what's in my brain like to a visual. I painted all my life and I was kind of drawn to the weirdness in painting and the freedom you can have because you can create anything that's not real. I kind of started in the multimedia sector, so I did that for a while until I gave birth to my first daughter. Uh, then things change. I always kept on painting, that was a good thing, because that was for me one thing to relieve kind of my stress. Then in my private life, things changed and I met my husband. Together we have five kids, so we're a blend family. That's a lot of dynamics going on every day. I had to stop painting because we don't have a lot of space in the house to paint anymore. So I had to find something to replace that. I kind of started going into photography by accident. For me, the zoo was kind of a, a way to get to know my camera and experiment and make a lot of mistakes. But it also gave me the time with no pressure to experiment. That was also the moment I was more aware that I needed to do more than only taking pictures at the zoo. The moment that kind of changed my life in photography was a little Facebook ad. Like, okay, you can shoot portrait with a kind of painterly style. I never had used or seen a stroke before and that was very intimidating but I was kind of like okay I'm gonna learn this. I went over there for just one afternoon and I got so hooked on it. I got the feeling I could make a painting with a camera. Now I can use my painting background, I can use light in a way I was used to. I think when you really want to make something, you can do it. And don't let yourself distract by what other people think is right. Because I think you create for yourself. And not for some judge at a photo contest. The most important thing is to make a translation of what goes on in your brain and put that into an image.